mission. Together, we can save a lot of people, including you. Lake here is straight ahead. It's the home of Catnap, one of the smiling critters. There used to be eight of them, I think. Now it's just him. Lake here is his church. Hello, my name is Elliot Ludwig. When you look around at the world today, what one thing do you think it needs more of? I asked around once, money, I never have enough. Understanding, I can never get any. Faith, the common man has lost it. Each answer was different. And I could perhaps see some little truth in each, but I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile to be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams, or it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid, one where they are protected. And after all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile, they deserve to love, and they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce... Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile? to the gas production zone, the beating heart of the whole evil play care system. All that gas you see coming from the machine is made right here in the factory. It's called the red smoke. Right now, it's all headed off to the right. We need to make that red smoke go left instead. That's how we can get to him. The machine will probably have a few dumb safeguards.
Tragic news this morning as of 9.45 a.m. Following recent events, Playtime Co. was asked for any... Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, May you descend into the dark and the dust, finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left, a world that's theirs now. Welcome home.
actually here to help. <sighs> this place makes her tense. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. Looks like the train crash hurt us both. <sighs> You've been through so much. You deserve an explanation. Come on. Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. you leave what's happening down here is bigger than all of us and I need you so we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you who've tortured us they didn't act alone they're disciples of the original the prototype the honors Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god-awful case for so long. You have no idea the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you, how capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety.
not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs, too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out.
Angel, come to save us. Nothing left to save. Not here. Herb catnaps from Angel. There, home. A mermaid pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching, waiting, hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you. themselves. That thing, Catman, the prototype is his god, and this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow Catman to avoid that very fate, and in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it, the prototype's control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. no. Leave me. Please. Just go. Run.
happened here? to end this.
Good, you're here. And you've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place, thanks to you. But if we're to keep going, then... then you deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co-workers. You want to know what happened. And why. This... This is your answer. We called it the Hour of Joy. slaughter. That's all it really was. They killed everyone. The guilty, the innocent. Didn't matter. All that death didn't fix anything. And then, once it was all over, they dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. The prototype has to die. For this. For everything. As soon as we reach the bottom, we send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you! Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something... 